Hi friends, welcome back to this channel and this video is a re-upload of one of my past videos but in this video I'll be talking to you about how to use Prep Ladder app to study for our exam. So number one is to have a schedule or a plan because the app does not provide us a schedule or a plan to follow. So we need to have our own schedule or a plan. That's a very good thing because we are all uh, different and we would prefer different subjects to be learned differently. So what should you think when you are creating your own schedule? How many days do you want to give for each subject and how many revisions do you want to do? That is one thing which you can think about when you are creating your schedule or plan and there is a schedule which is pre-made in my channel. So if you want to check it out, you can check it out. Number two is watch video and mark your notes at the same time. This is gonna save you a lot of time. Okay, and then after the video is done revise. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Number two is read notes first. Get an idea about the topic by heart the important parts then watch the video as part of a revision. By the same time, you are writing down the parts which were not clear to you and understanding the, those parts. So that way, this is also very efficient. So number three is do the cue banks no matter what. Because many times you wouldn't want to do the cue banks. Even if you don't watch all the videos while solving, we learn so much more. And we learn how to think while giving our exam too. So if we don't simulate that part of our brain then we might not do well even if we know everything so we need to solve questions solving questions are very important number four is please schedule your tnd tnd is test and discussions and uh, which is on the right side of your custom module like when you click the prepare button you're going to be taken to the video page where there is past exam questions then um, there is the custom module and there is TND click on the TND and schedule it according to the original plan which you have which means if you're gonna be doing uh, pathology this week you would want to be doing the test of pathology uh, by the end of this week right so schedule it accordingly and change the subjects and make it okay and stick to that okay do it you need to follow it through only if you follow it through it's gonna be effective otherwise it might not work okay number five is do pass your mcqs because they are high yield please don't leave them because that's one thing which we hear like from my childhood i used to hear that you need to solve your past papers those past papers are gonna help you to like pass the exam with really good scores okay so we need to score, do the past year mcqs no matter what as well so we need to like have some time like imagine if you're doing pathology and you are like doing the bank of pathology certain uh, topics and now you're very tired you want to do more mcqs but you're like okay what should i do you can go to past year mcqs and take patho and do the past year mcqs for patho itself so in that way you're actually doing um everything from this subject itself but you're actually learning a lot more than you actually you know you are learning a lot so that's a very good thing number six is custom modules do which subject you are weak plus what you're doing right now or do a mixed bag it's gonna be so helpful for you number six is grand test or mock test only if you give this you will know where you stand okay are you improving or are you really not improving maybe you need to change your strategies only if you do this you will know where you stand okay so you have to have to have to have to take them it's not for seeing your marks it's not for judging you but rather it's for understanding if anything is making sense like the way you study is it effective for you or not not you need to know that okay you have to give it as soon as possible number seven past exam test stimulating your exam day feeling and it helps to remove all anxiety from you because one major thing which is gonna prevent you from passing the exam is the panic attacks and the anxieties which are gonna come on the exam day because that day you're gonna be faced with a lot of stress 
and it's gonna be very hard to think straight okay and we are gonna like go back and change our answers which were already correct to wrong answers it's very much possible that's what happened to me so that's why i'm telling you we need to remove that anxiety from us only by doing and solving a lot of mcqs we can do that okay number eight rapid revision videos plus mcqs so my strategy for this is to do some subjects uh from rapid revision okay that is like the minor subjects mostly and maybe 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 surgery okay but what i suggest is um no matter what we can always solve the mcqs from rapid revision also that's only like a bonus right yeah and what is your strategy because all of our strategies could be different when it comes to rapid revision because i saw some people they only did rapid revision and they were able to pass and ace the exam but for me i don't know i don't really know about that that much like is it just enough for all the subjects i don't know but i wouldn't say that you must do all the subjects from rapid revision maybe just the minor subjects and like maybe one or two other subjects because for me personally i wanted to do pharmacology and patho and those type of subjects like from the main video i didn't want to like compromise on that you know so i did not go for the rapid revision for those subjects but rather for the main video so what is your strategy you can tell me now coming to number 9 number 9 is snapshot notes please do them they are very high yield images if you have the book mark it write the answers it's going to be helpful for you like it's like a photographic memory it's going to come back believe me it's so good okay so number 10 is daily mcq feature which preplatter has if we really hate doing mcqs let's start from there let's just give one mcq and it will be taking you to the uh, page for the q bank right you can try to do the q bank if it's your favorite subject it's going to be really good you'll be scoring more you'll be able to like have that passion for solving mcqs but if it's the other way around it could go both ways okay but you can really try to give those daily mcqs that one mcq at least okay number 11 is the treasures treasures are important topics or important points from all subjects maybe to like have a look right before the exam okay and also treasures um are usually shown in our queue banks itself like at the end they usually like show us like the treasures um maybe to have that photographic memory again they usually do that so you can bookmark it if you are really not sure about that you can write it and learn it as well if you are really unsure about that particular treasure or particular question so this is basically all the things which i could see uh, which are available in the preplatter app and this is what i would suggest you how to use preplatter app because this app is really big and sometimes it could be a little bit stressful uh, to like navigate this app you know you don't want to like mess it up especially if you've gotten the app and you want to like utilize all the resources which are available to you hmm? and also you don't want to like um you know undermine or you don't want to like uh, leave out the major ones like doing the grand test or the mock test or um skipping out on imagine if you did not do certain subjects at least you would want to like do the rapid revision don't skip out on any subject that is something which we hear from all the toppers that's something which we hear from all the people who pass out that try to do at least something you don't have to be uh, good at all the subjects but just be a jack of all trades right so my friends that's it for today thank you so much for watching this video